up, nerds? Welcome back to Luke's Arcade and another episode of us playing some Super Paper Mario. For the Nintendo Wii. Yeah. So, in the uh, previous episode, if you recall, we were going through just some opening cinematic stuff and, you know, we saw the whole plot with, uh, with what is it, Dr. Black? Count Black. Count Black, yeah, that's it. And uh, he took everyone, and then Mario got transported by the Rainbow Triangle Butterfly to meet with the big, uh, windy, waterfall beard man. Yeah. So, <clears throat> he asked us if we wanted to save the world, and we said nah. And then he asked us two more times in different words. And, and just, just to be funny, because we never thought that it would actually happen. Yeah, but we, we said no three times, and yeah. uh, it was game over. So we had to go back through the entire opening cinematic, and now we're back. This time we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and say that we'll do it. We'll Yay. save the world. Excellent! You truly are the hero of the Book of Legend. My eyes never deceive. So, <clears throat> Mario, our brave hero, take this. Well, here we go. He's taking this. It's getting a heart piece. So I, I guess there are eight. You got a pure heart. Pure heart has been thrust into your possession. Okay. So collect three more to get a, a now, full heart. Now, great hero Mario, your first task awaits. You must take this pure heart. You must place it in the heart pillar in this town. Tippy will lead you there. Return to me when you are through with this task. So Tippy is the triangle rainbow butterfly. He introduced himself as Pixel, though. Maybe, no, he's Tippy, one of the pix he's a Pixel. But what did he say? This way! <laughs> so, okay. That's the red direction. Alright. Oh, so now we can actually move. This is the first time. First time we've been able to move. What, ooh, should I push up? A little elevator, it seems. Here we go. We're elevating to a new place. Well, so the way to beat Count Black, I, I believe, is to get all eight heart pieces. Yeah, the pure hearts. This way, please. Come along. Should I talk to this box head? This town is called Flipside. <clears throat> We're gonna run out of voices. I know. To try to do everybody, every little peasant. Okay, we can't do peasant voices. Not green. They can just be normal voices. Mm, this town is so peaceful. If you ask me, that's all that you can really ask for out of life. Should we check out? That's pretty good. <laughs> Should we check? Get out of my way! I want to open this door. Should I go into the bed? Go ahead and try it. See what's in here. A couple beds, like I, I suspected. Pink hair. Pink head girl with a little bit of hair. I'll talk. Welcome to Tinga's Inn, where you can recharge your batteries in just one night. We got batteries. Tell me, wary traveler, wouldn't you like to get a good night's rest? Oh, it will amaze you to be sure your aches and pains will just melt away. It's five coins a night. How does that sound? Uh, no. No, first of all, I don't think we have any coins. Return to us one day, heart. Yeah, we don't even have any coins, so. So this is the first time we've been able to see how many hit points we have, how many coins we have. Yeah, we got ten. There's Plixel. Talk to him. Should I talk to him? Oh, because he's probably going to say, Press it! Should I press it or should I go explore? Uh, we don't have any coins, so it's like... That's a fortune reader, I believe. Uh, because it looks like a crystal ball. And but, I've, but we, we don't have any coins, but you, you know. And we don't even... We're on, like, the most direct path of our adventure right now. So... Basically, we just have to go wherever Pixel says... And save Mario, level up Mario. This is this is a an RPG game. Yeah. 
The heart pillar is this way. Come on, please. Wait, which way? You're going probably to the left. Is it? Is this a dead end? Yeah, yeah. it's a dead end. That's a that's a little bit dead end. Talk to this little guy. Hey! You know anything about that weird black stuff in the sky? Okay. It looked kinda scary, but I don't know what it is. I could have maybe yeah. done like he had a little bit of a like a lisp or something. Possibly. Yeah. Can you do lisp voice? Uh, Try it. This this would be fun. Huh? Weird. Thing in the sky, was it there yesterday? Did a cloud blow up? It's <laughs> pretty good. Huh? <laughs> What am I talking about? If a cloud blew up, we'd be wet, right? He's true, if a cloud blew up, it would be so, like, a lot of wetness. Yeah, yeah, all over. This is a heart pillar. Now, get close and place the pure heart. There we go. Oof. Oh, I just whoop. face checked it. Okay. So now we're losing the heart piece that we got. We got Here some, we go. Got some gears going. Getting the heart piece. <clears throat> door. That's the game. A wild door has appeared. We win. Win the game. That's the entire game. Game over. Yeah. Oops. Well done, he said. He said, well, well done. done. There you go. Now, let's return to Merlin. All right. This is so, like the easiest game. So we're up on the third floor. I like how the very first choice we had in the game we failed at. Yeah. Like, there's not much to do. <laughs> not, it's pretty hard to fail this game, but we did it. Now, we're going to eventually uh, run into some challenges, I believe. Can jump pretty high. <laughs> oh, S box. There we go. Perhaps you should strike this block before we head back to Merlin. All right. Just imagine, like, if you had a, like, rainbow f pixel fairy made out of triangles, tell you to strike a block. Yeah. I don't know if I would trust it. Yeah. So we can save with this little. More block. So we probably need to remember where the save points are. So there's one right here on the way back to Merlon. Uh, we gotta go back up. Should we check this out first? Is that where we came in? No, we came in this elevator. Okay. So that's how we. Yeah, that's how we leave. Yeah. Let's just check this okay. one out. Oh, so that's Merlin's oh, house. It's... Well, that makes sense. Okay, let's go up to his perch. Check it out. See what he has to say now that we get rid of our heart he just gave us. So, I wonder if we have to battle Merlin. Oops. Look! A door has appeared! This dimensional door was made to lead the horror hero to another pure heart. Yes, somewhere beyond this door lies one of the seven pure hearts. Tippy, you must use your power to help Mario find this pure heart and return here. Of course! And Mario, I have something to give you that will aid in your journey. Oh, is it gonna be a hook shot? <laughs> it is a candy cane pipe. A return pipe. Oh, that's good. That's so cool. We can come back to the flip side from afar. With this, you are able to return to Flipside from anywhere in the universe. Use it whenever you feel you must return in a hurry. Nice. But I wonder if you can only use it once. Important things on the menu screen. Now we know. Okay. Yep. The Light Prognosticus foretells that the hero will meet a dimensional governor. From him, the hero will learn the dimensional technique. I am almost certain this refers to my friend, 
the flip wizard, Bestovius. So go now through this door and seek out Bestovius. Oh, yeah. Well, let's get going. He basically is just like your pump up man. The the little uh rainbow triangle rainbow butterfly. triangle butterfly. Uh, what was my voice? Black, black! The void has been ripped in the dimensional fabric. Is that the voice? <laughs> yes, Count Black is pleased. All has gone as foretold in the dark prognosticus. Now it's just a matter of time until the world, the worlds meet our demise. Black. Black. Oh, new voice. Wow. That's super cow. Yeah, first you'll erase all these naughty worlds. And then you're gonna build a perfect world without war and all that other icky stuff. Yes, no, I like the icky stuff. Yeah, the perfect world sounds magical. <laughs> I can hardly see the wee. Who's this? Another? Is it just another guy? What a blaze in progress. How did I beat myself here? What's going on? <laughs> oh, Chunks. You big silly. Did you oversleep or something? Ah. Uh... That's I good. guess it's hard to be on time, though, when you've got muscles instead of brains. Hey. You can't fool me with that crazy shape shift and hover gunnery. It's me, me, ain't it? Show a little respect for the count. You can't go a ball in his face, lass. <laughs> How delightful, Mimi. Almost as dapper as Count Black. None other. Hi, golly. Thanks, Count. With you around, it's nothing but smiles all the time. Hanging out with the Count, that's my idea of a perfect world heart. Oh, God, Mimi's idea of a world gym full pool hunky lifeguards. Earth Dementio, have you been reading my diary? I mean, um, never mind. Waffle fries. <laughs> well, different strokes for different minions. After these rotten worlds have ended, Count Black will make all your dreams come true. But for that to happen, we must follow the instructions of Dark Front Darkstickers. What's this girl? You got it. You got another one. Yeah, about that. Just an FYI, I've got an urgent memo for your inbox. Apparently, there's been some unapproved interdimensional activity lately. Yeah, I'm thinking it's a, the hero of prophecy. We're gonna need an action plan for this guy. A dimensional interlooper, and possibly the hero. You are sure of it. Nastasha. Interesting. Mused Count Black. We must put an end to this nuisance. Nuisance. Nuance. Count Black! <laughs> Wait, that's probably somebody else. Let me get this right in me, Brian. The hero in the dust is going on about. He your enemy? Then we gotta cut me loose on him. Yeah, gotta. I'll give him a piece, a nice taste of old chunks. Very well, chunks. I'll leave the hero chunking to you. Do not fail, Count Black. You can count on me, Count. I'll break down like a fair thunderstorm. I swear. Mimi, Dementia, you should tag along. You could witness a proper chunking. Chunking! Well then, I believe I'll head out as well. <laughs> 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 
So, hero, you would defy Count Black. Hurry, for your world's end draws near. <laughs> Alright, I think that is going to be it for this episode of us reading, <laughs> reading the script. Text. So, uh, we will we'll be back in the next episode to figure out if we actually get to kill at least a Goomba. We might kill a Goomba. That's all I really want to do is kill a Goomba. Or a Chunk. There might be a big old Chunk battle There might be some up. Chunk chunk battling happening. But until then... See ya.